Buenas tardes. Uf. Mucha lluvia. ¿Dónde se va a quedar? Arriba. Buenas. ¿De viaje? Sí. Bien, bien. No está mojado, frío, no. Sí, pues. Poquito. Ajá, sí, sí. Ah, pero se agarra caliente. It was in the midst of the rain season here in Peru. And during my time in Caras, working on the previous video, I met with two Canadians, Alex from British Columbia and Sylvain from Quebec. And so it was that we would join forces for a little while, the three wet gringos of Cordillera Blanca. This is the rain season in Peru. <laughs> cow has gotten lost on this road. In Caras, Sylvain had bought some epoxy to fix the hole in my carbon fork. The bikes were packed with few days of food and ready to go. Again, 
toward the mountains and over few passes to Juarez. It felt great rolling out of the warm lowlands full of people and animals and toward the clouds.
Bird! And the cows are sprinting toward us. <laughs> Everyone. Hello, friends! We're friends, right? That bad. It's not as bad. The last like, might be I think only near the top it might be more difficult. Forty-seven hundred meters. 
Oh, that was tough. Very tough. After that, long descent to Juarez. Without a helmet, but boy. <laughs> No es un parque nacional. Sí, pero hacia allá la concesión está cerrada. Pero no vamos allá, aquí. Es abierto. Tenemos el, el ¿cómo se llama? El permiso del parque. Sí, sí, para allá sí, como te digo, para esta parte sí, pero cómo sé que no vas a ir para allá. Uh -huh. yo, yo te aconsejo que visites, no hay ningún problema, y bajas abajo a, a hospedarte y haces tu carta igual, no, la bajas. ¿no? No, no, aquí es mejor con su permiso, allá en la carretera, en un lugar seco. Allá quedamos y mañana bajamos. Te aviso mañana cuando salimos. ¿Te quieres para registrarse o algo? I totally made a run for it, despite the guys chasing me up the hill. But I was like, you know, if they're not gonna let us visit this, uh, might as well just go pop in for a second. Um, But turns out the boss is actually super cool. He just shows up, his hands black with coal and his hat and his light and he's like, yeah. Although unexpected, the miners let us stay here. 
I don't quite get it how it all works out in the national park. Roads scar almost every mountainside and mines tower high above 4800 meters toward the glaciers. But I wonder, do the miners ever look at the ice and stone in awe? Or do they just sit listening to music and playing cards in their little houses? And after days on end with rain and clouds, it was finally time to see the sun.
there's this and then if you can see behind there's more mud Buenas tardes Wet dog friend <laughs> oh, sorry. I think it's oh, weird. They only eat uh, burritos. Burritos? <laughs> Sandwich, they don't want to eat it with meat. No. <laughs> I think they are well fed. Yeah, they're fat. Oh, this one has a. Okay. Ah, whoa. And the little guy has to eat too. Little guy. Although I try my best to avoid pavement, it is not really that bad. Being able to pedal all the way up the big valleys, past little towns and up again to the snow-capped giants where the locals live in stone huts and run the sheep, the cows and the llamas. Others have learned to run the tourists up and down and while it is certainly not a bad thing to do, going under your own power and on your own terms is just the way to go. Playing tag with the rain and enjoying the quiet mornings. Fixing the brakes? Yeah, a little adjustment. <laughs> Dream a highway back. 
Summer Snow. getting held on uh, which is normally fun but this one actually hurts like I have to watch my eyes so nothing ricochets and it's like, it's like New Year's Eve and the champagne and yeah watch out ow ow, ow. okay it hurts Making our way up to Waiwash for a couple of days and we'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed. Sunshine and yeah, sunshine. Sunshine. Waiwash was perhaps one of the first things I heard about Peru. A popular trek in the heart of the high Andes, but perhaps not so popular in the midst of the rain season and on a bicycle. We followed another dusty mining road 
until we could turn off somewhere more quieter and more fun. The fun commands. It's a big Ecuadorian poodle in Peru. <laughs> Look at you, you're a single dread, right? When was the last time you combed your hair, huh? Look at that. <laughs> Look. Look at that thing run, he's half dread, half dog. <laughs> this house. The whole unsecret got my chain behind the bed in a coffee can. Throw my knuckles just in case. <laughs> I will go if you ask me to. I will stay if you dare. If I go, I'm going to change. The mind. Sylvain doesn't know it, but he's being followed by a hairy white horse. Sylvain, I think like right here. Creeks and And the photographs know I'm alive And they just laugh as I burn down And I will go if you ask me to I will stay If I go, I'm going on fire The mind is dead The machine goes mad and shaking Back It's a little bit tough, 
with all these rocks because when you step on top of them they can switch to the left or to the right oops and then you're losing your balance Whew. I think we're over this part so I've got the first donkey of Waiwash hey there buddy I can see ya you're hiding behind that rock you're not hiding very well huh? that's right <laughs> Woo -hoo. I fall, I fall right on top of you. <laughs> He's a crazy man.
we're looking at our camping options and you can choose between between camping on poop or camping on less poop or camping on more cow poop it's a crappy campsite what about over there on that on the other side of the trail We've come back to an old delicacy, instant mashed potatoes that I found by miracle in uh, in Juarez. So, but we've got some meat and onion and paprika and a lot of butter, a lot of butter. Uh, butter is good. This is your first meal. My first instant mashed potato since okay. probably Canada. After that, what what do you have? Oh yeah, then we're gonna get the. Where did it go? Uh, 1060 calories of pad thai with vegetables. But that's for like 8 p.m. second dinner. <laughs> You're only gonna eat one, right? <laughs> yeah. And somewhere between the hail and the sun, we found a home. A new home every day and every night. Not far away from all the ice and stone and among the nameless valleys and the fading light. It is a blissful place where the valleys climb toward the sky, where the morning shadow follows you alone. And you couldn't dream even if you try, for in such places all your dreams are gone. Like the water fading in the morning air, and the wind who takes your breath away. At the pass, you wonder now to where, and all you want is one more day. Rose and flows of angel hair, and ice cream castles in the air, and feather canyons everywhere. I love the clouds that way. Now they only block the sun There rain and snow on every wall So many things I would have done But clouds got in my way I looked at clouds from both sides and now From up and down and still somehow It's clouds illusion no, I really don't know how at all. Moons and dunes and Ferris wheels. So does he dance in a way that you feel? And every fairy tale comes real. Oh, I love the love that way. Now it's just. Another show. You leave them laughing when you go. And if you care, don't let them know. Don't give yourself away. I looked at love from both sides now. From give and take, and still somehow it's love's illusions that I recall. No, I really don't know love at all. So we've made it somewhere, and just look over there, down that cliffside, it appears to be a road. <laughs> Tears and fears and feeling proud to say I love you right out loud and dreams and schemes. I looked at life that way Oh, but now, old friends, they're acting strange They shake their heads, they say that I've changed Well, something's lost, but something's gained And living life every day Oh, I looked at life from both sides and now From winning, losing, still somehow 
realize illusions that I recall. No, I really don't know life at all. Muy grande. <risa> Se mató el niño. ¿Y tú? ¿Tú claro. puedes? Sí. Sí, lo manejo. Sí, puede. Claro. Cuídese con frenos porque, porque son muy fuertes. El freno. Sí, pero cu cuídese, son fuertes. Ya. Bueno. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Muy alto. Sí, sí. Es muy alto. ¿Qué? ¿Mejor de caballo o no? Sí. Sí. Pero caballo no se cansa, sube. No se cansa. Con esto se cansa, ¿no? Sí. Empujando al hombro también. Al hombro estrido. En parte sí. No hay carretera. Sí, en sendero, puro sendero. No hay carretera más allá. De Waiwash. Hoy día desde dónde estás viniendo? Eh, aquí hay un paso, sí, una mina allá, allá arriba. Más allá y más abajo donde hay unos un, un potreros con vacas de allá. ¿Tú juegas con el perro o no? Bueno. ¿Y cómo se llama él? Boder. Bo? Boder. Boder. Hola, Boder. De cariño le dicen Boni. Mm, Boni. Es Boni. Muy chévere. Puede que corre rápido. Ese juega con pelota. Ah. <risa> ¿Y cómo juega él? ¿Qué Here I'd pull something off like this right before town. <laughs> Hidden single track. Yay! I caught up with Sylvain at the small mining town of Oyon, which seemed like a beacon of civilization. Mines of all sizes were everywhere, seemingly caring about the environment, but one thing was clear. When the shop closes, everything is just left there. Although the mining may be driven by some bigger forces, on the ground level, here it is just work. And good work at that. Much better than running sheep in the middle of nowhere. The faces. We made our way up the endless switchbacks to yet another pass and another mine. 
far away from anything and into the land of a so thousand miners. Another one. for the feeling, riding for the feeling.
Sir, he's trying to eat me. Why are you biting me? I have no milk, buddy. I have no milk. Sorry. Sorry. Ow. Hey. That's not milk. That's not. Ow. I'm not your mama. I have no milk. Ow. 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 Okay. Oh, you're a cutie. You're a cutie. Come here. Oh, and you too. You want more crackers? Okay. Have a cracker. You wanna eat me? I have no milk. I'm sorry, no milk. <laughs> the puppy will lick you back. That's right, lick him. Lick him. Lick him on the face, not me, him, him. <laughs> <laughs> 